Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Dead Aim. Uh, when we last left off, we were having a little stroll through this totally not dodgy looking underground facility. And the draw distance is about two feet ahead of us, which is curious. Okay, uh, we also had a massive freaking laser in space target us. Oh, hello. Which was thoroughly entertaining. But, uh, yeah, we managed to dislodge that. Apparently, the Chinese government aren't overly fond of um, Fong Ling continuing her mission. Not even giving her the uh, option of um, extracting. Nope. Just going to uh, burn her to a crisp with a giant death laser because, yeah, fuck you, that's why. Love it. Oh, God, there's grenade ammo there. And we've just picked... Oh, uh, you know what? It's fine. I just have to remember, in here is grenade ammo. Seems to be a report of some kind. Biological report 2. This is a survey report on the changes to the BOWs, which have been considered failures and have been disposed of in this facility. Uh, today I will relocate the observation area to be underground. This area is low on power and most areas are very dark. I assume creatures fond of dark places must inhabit this area. They're not very good at disposing of um, <clears throat> these guys here. We saw red shining objects. They look like the eyes of some creature. But we've not confirmed the entity yet. It moves extremely quickly and runs away as soon as we approach. I have named this creature Glimmer for its glimmering eyes. Oh good. In order to collect samples, I had some workers go and try and capture a Glimmer. However, the plan did not work out and instead the targets attacked them and two people are now dead. I increased the number of workers in order to try and capture a glimmer. This time they succeeded in shooting down one of them. According to the workers, the glimmer just... The glimmer will open itself up just before it goes to attack. Although it is dead, I have gained valuable samples. Uh, I have been examining, uh, examining the collected data samples, but I don't have any idea as to how the glimmer evolved and transformed into this figure. It seems as it seems it is a subspecies of a hunter. I, however, need to research this further. Goody gumdrops. So we have a new hunter that is potentially more dangerous. Ooh, experiment alpha log. Codename Pluto. Today we'll begin the experiment. The subject is a condemned criminal called Alpha. Oh, so it was human at one point. I mean, it explains the brain, I suppose. Uh, it has been one month since the subject was transported to this facility. He is not exactly aware of what's going to happen to him. However, he seems to be very frightened. Day one, commence experiment. We hammered a metal rod into the subject's frontal lobe in order to evaluate some, uh, alleviate some of the pain. This was done only for humanitarian reasons. Yeah, that, that sounds like it wouldn't hurt that much. Day four, removal of eyeballs. Huh. Jesus Christ. Um, we have removed the eyeballs in order to observe its reaction to external stimulation. Uh, day 14, dose of muscle booster. After administering the muscle booster, we confirmed the unusual development of the muscles. It gained a drastic amount of weight before the treatment. In the future, we'll consider using a uh, using hampering items. Day 36, sharpened hearing. An effect of the eyeball removal procedure has been an enhanced sense of hearing. It recognized precisely where a sound originates and its distance from that sound. Day 41. Experiment suspended. The experiment has been suspended due to the fact that the subject has escaped. Oh, whoops. Even without its vision, the subject is quite dangerous. We should use extreme care not to make sounds when we try to capture it. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing they didn't capture it, and that's why it's, you know, up and fucking walking around like it owns the place. Oh boy. Right, well, oh, what have we got here? Okay, we got zombies. Is that, uh, that dude hasn't seen me, that's fine. Whoops. And we're using the wrong gun, but luckily, 
We have not attracted the ire of the other guy. Right, so I'm guessing uh, if we're fighting Pluto, maybe use a silence gun. Really, dude? Really? He's, he's dead, man. His brain just exploded all over the floor. Damn it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. Well, that didn't exactly go to plan. Still not sure how much damage you can do to these guys when they're on the floor. And I don't like the fact that even when they're dead, the cursor remains um, red, if that makes sense. Right, we should be able to pick up these bullets now. Cannot carry any more ammo. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, uh, that's fine. I've got a feeling these grenade uh, these grenade rounds will come in useful. So we're gonna run past what we don't have to fight. And that also looked like another file in there. No, there's a lot of files that look like files in this game, uh, and they're not. But I also think we've probably missed some as well, which kind of stinks. All right, let's go through here. Wow, you cannot open the door. Ah, there is actually lights next to that one. All right, well, I mean, maybe we can sort something out with that a little bit later on. All right, calm down, dude. Calm down. For God's sakes, calm down. Everybody in this place is freaking panicking about some bullshit. All right, you're gone. But he's dead, game. Okay, his brain literally just exploded. I thought he was standing up then, without a head. I was going to say, well played, sir. Right. Well, that does not sound like a zombie now, does it? No. No, that does not sound like a zombie. Okay, it's a zombie. Fine. Fine. There's a lot of zombies here. I'm guessing we can't go into that room. Dude, I'm going to have to get you to calm your tits. Yeah, can't go through there. Really don't want to be blasting all of this handgun ammo, but at the same time, uh, shotgun ammo, but at the same time, we kind of need to clear some spaces. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, God, there's two of them. Of course there is. Dude. All right, let's back ourselves up into a little corner. Yeah, so they do... Okay, these things are questionable. Are you still alive? I mean, the way they flap around for a while is quite cute. Let's see if... Right, not really sure. Really? Huh. Shotgun is just like, am I a joke to you? Dude, chill. Can't tell if that's actually doing anything to it. Uh, okay. Oh, hello. Dude. Uh, no, 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 no. No thanks. I don't want none of that. Yeah, these guys are just absolute bullet sponges. I mean, is there any need for it to be such a bullet sponge like that? I mean, that's kind of crazy. Is it actually dead now? I think it's actually dead now. Jesus. Uh, should we go back and get some bullets? Because I can't actually hold any bullets, to be fair. We've got three more shotgun shells that we can waste off, I suppose. Hello, you. Right, let's see if we can get up close to this fucker. Right, so you can knock them over and then just blast them to death on the floor. Noted. Noted. Now, do I want to go back and get some shotgun shells? That's the question. Um, I kind of... Or some bullets, I should say. I 
kind of think we should because oh, there's a lift there. Hmm. You know, this game really does throw a bit of a curveball at you, doesn't it? With the whole ammo management. I don't like the ammo management, to be honest. Oh, we have more glimmers. Uh, right. It's cold, dude. Come on. Don't be a little bitch. Come on. Calm your tits. There we go. I don't know if this is actually here to get. No bullets. I have no idea if this is her to get. I'm going to say it's not. I don't know. It's really hard to tell with the... With the weapons. Like, what is doing damage and what isn't. Like, the... I mean, the reticle is red, which would make me think that, yes, we're hurting it. But it's not actually dying, so um, they're not actually showing any kind of sign. Uh oh. <laughs> they're not actually showing any kind of sign of being hurt whatsoever. So, you know, it's very important when making a game, like when you're making uh, enemies. You need to know when you're registering a hit to these enemies. It's kind of important. Especially in a game that fucks you so hard with ammo. Right. Yeah, because he's just... I don't know. I can't tell. Can't tell if we're hurting him. I mean, with this shotgun, it did seem like we hurt... Hurt the bastard. Right, he's dead. We really need to go back for ammo. For hangar ammo. Oh, oh, dude, come on, man. Look, I don't like you that much. Jesus. Maybe we can run up to him. There we go. Right, we've got no bullets left now. Uh, shotgun, I guess, is our only option. Okay. How's that feel? Huh? You want some more? Yeah, you want some more. Fuck you. Get up. Come on. Get up. Dude, you're actually worse than me. Come on, you ugly motherfucker. Alright, he's had enough. Okay, I mean, that's cool. I mean, the, like, you get these explosive barrels in the corner, but the radius of them is so small, it's actually pointless. Um, I'm going to go back and get some ammo. Because we've got two empty slots here. And, yeah, the zombies aren't much of a threat because they're so spaced out. And I've got a horrible feeling I probably, probably shouldn't be wasting all of this freaking hangar ammo. Luckily, it's not that far back. Yeah, I think that's one of the... Oh, shit in hell. I think that's one of the things I like least about this game. Um, I mean, it's it's fine. But the whole ammo situation is just needlessly silly. Like, why is your ammo capacity so limited? It doesn't really make a lot of sense in the context that, you know, the way they use it in this game. Right, okay, let's load everything up. We should be able to take another pack. Yeah, cool. Alright, let's go. And whilst we're doing that, I'm going to top up myself. Ah, coffee. Mm. Ah, brownest of the brown. Mm. Alright, come on, Bruce. So, glimmers are really irritating. Just because they seem to be invincible when they're flopping around on their backs. Or at least it seems nigh and impossible to actually do any damage to them. Again, they're just irritating enemies. The design is fine. They're kind of like the Hunter Gammas. Um, which is fine. You know, the, the Gamma Hunters are pretty cool. 
but they're not fun to fight like they were in. Ooh. Bit spicy in here. Jesus. Alright. That's fine. I'm guessing these guys are going to hurt quite a bit if they touch us, so we're not going to let them touch us. Ooh, there's a herb there. Nice. Dude. I bet you wish you could have got your hands on that herb. Alright, we've got more flaming zombies. Flaming zombies are fine. There's a lift down there. Or we can go this way. There's also a lift there. Uh, right, well, we've got options, I guess. Options are fine. Uh, we've got more glimmers. You know, I'm not going to waste... Oh, fucking hell, we've got a few glimmers in here. Yeah, I'm not going to fight these guys. Like, I don't think we actually even could fight these guys, to be honest. There's too many of them. Jesus. There's like six of them in that room. Sorry, bud, but you're just not fun to fight. <laughs> and it's not worth the equipment that we'd lose. Ooh. Zombies are fine. The other hunters are fine. Kind of. Ah, there's the elevator room. Um, but you guys just suck. Oh, fucking hell. Wait, did he just like singe my anal beard as I walked past him? Yes. Yes, he did. Oof. Alright, got some burning zombies. Damn, what the hell happened here, man? I mean, you know, apart from the Spencer brain crashing into this place and blowing it to hell. Maybe that's what happened. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, you're going to have to... Well, hang on. Here's the thing, right? You can see something on the other side of this grating. A corpse. Yeah, uh, Bruce. We're not looking at the corpse. We're looking at the big flashing thing. Jesus, Bruce. You really that soft in the head. Now, it looks like we need some kind of fire suppression unit or something. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about those guys. You would have thought those guys would eventually burn out. Pretty sure they won't, though. Can't go through there. Yeah. Oh, there's another herb there, though. Don't mind if I do. Um, Have we been through that door? Right, that's... That's where we need to go. Um, which door did we come in through? Lift. We came in through that one, so let's go this way. I hope there's no glimmers in here. No, but there is a herb. And herbs are life, literally. Why can we carry so many herbs, though? And that that's the thing that really annoys me. You can carry, like, unlimited healing supplies, which is fine. But herbs? No, no, no. No, no, no. You can have as many of those as you want. Oh, can I... Mmm. Mmm, I smell... I smell a boss. Mmm. Yes. Yes, the stench. Yep. Yep. Ammo sprinkled all over the place. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-huh. Right. Only handgun ammo, though. And we know who the boss is going to be. So let's try... I mean, uh, I guess he's going to be a tough boy, though. I don't think this is going to hurt him much. And I totally forgot you could sneak. Maybe that might come in useful. Alright. Well... <sighs> No point uh, ignoring the inevitable. This appears to be the terminal for controlling the elevator. There is a keycard slot here. Yes. Uh. Right. Okay, I see what we've got to do here. I guess. Maybe. Right, maybe we just have to play. Yeah, maybe we need to get the keycard before that boss spawns. Which also means, 
perhaps we need to play silly buggers with the lift. Because there was a lift that we didn't go down. Uh, I can't remember what lift we didn't go down. Uh, right, that's the lift into this place. I'm guessing R05-08 is closed. It is not. No, right, right, I see. Yeah, I'm getting confused. We need to go on the other side of the blue thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so yeah, we need to play silly buggers then with the lift. Got ya. Okay, that's fine. So if we go back upstairs... Oh, fuck me. We're going to have to play with the glimmers again. God damn it. There was like 750 million of them in this room as well. Uh, I'm guessing we need to go down that left. Right. Fuck it. Cheese. Oh, no. Are we even going to survive this? I have no idea. Look how many there are. Like, even if you wanted to fight these guys. Seriously? Even if you wanted to fight those guys. That would be a dick. There's like six of them in there. Okay, so the lift we want is down here. Let's try this one. This should bring us to the right side. Yes, I guess. It's the only other lift there is. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. Cool. Um... Ooh, you can't carry any more. Um, well, you say that, but... Uh, really? Really, game? You're such a dick. Okay. Yes, throw away some handgun bullets to pick up seven. Seven. Yeah, I cannot open the door. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, we're pretty well stacked, to be fair. We've got, like, 15. Uh, oh, hang on. Ah, bollocks. Should have reloaded that gun. Dude. Dude. That's ah, fine. It's fine, I'm sure. We've got about just under 30 handgun bullets. Actually, no, we've just got just over 30 handgun bullets. Right, let's go back. We've got to go back through all of the, um... Bloody glimmers now, haven't we? And those guys suck. They suck. A awful large amount of penis. Oh my god. We're dropping frames. Oh man. Come on, PlayStation. Uh, to be fair, your emotion engine was always... Vastly exaggerated. Right, okay. Oh, bollocks. Forgot about you. You know, maybe it's worth killing you, but at the same time, I can't be bothered. Okay, so what's our health like? We need to go down. Back into the elevator room. Got ya. What, what's our health like? We good? We're on caution. Why are you starting to burn through a little bit of health now? Damn. But well, that's fine. That's what we got it for, I suppose. Okay. No point uh, not using it if we got it. Wait a minute. Nope, that's fine. I was going to say, we've got the wrong bloody way after all that. But no, we haven't. We're good. It's all gravy, baby. It's all gravy. Now, this is going to be a... Us. It appears to be a terminal controlling the elevator. Go on, Brucey. Slap that son of a bitch in there. Whilst my screen goes back. Hey, friendo. Dude, you look re 
ridiculous. You look stupid. Um. Yeah, he's definitely blind. Okay. Let's try something else. Shall we? Let's see. Hang on! Hang on! You can move? In this aiming mode? What? You can frickin' move in this aiming mode? The hell? Okay, so that definitely works. It'll probably work a whole damn sight better if we had some more bullets. I wonder... Some bullets here. Cannot carry any more. Yeah, so you just straight up cannot drop. That's really annoying. Right, let's let's use That's cool that we can actually Oh god, dude, you look stupid. <laughs> the hell was that? Oh god. Okay. Trouble is, how do we get away from him now he's... Okay. Um, Bruce, you're gonna have a bad time, buddy. How do we get away from him now he's... Yeah. Okay, so all the time we was using... Uh, all the time we was using the, the silence pistol, we were, you know, having a good old time. But now, I'm not... Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to... Okay. Alright. Okay, so he falls over. Nope, he's heard us. Right, that was a bit of experimentation there. What we really need... What we really need... Must... Yeah, that's fine. This guy actually seems... Where are we now? Oh, right, we're here. Can we throw any of this away? <sighs> really? So... Oh, man, the inventory system is AIDS. So my question is, once we've used up the grenade launcher on him, how do we then hide? That's not great, actually. We, like, if we had more handgun bullets, we'd probably be able to do this guy pretty easily. Ah, I have an idea. I have an idea. Right, okay, we avoided him. Okay, okay, okay. Stick, S nope, okay, my idea doesn't work. Ow. Oh man, I mean, come on. Right, maybe we have avoided him now. I think. Alright, cool. Ah! Oh, we'd fired one more shot. So, one more shot. Right, there we go. Now we should be able to take this guy out properly. 
Alright, let's load that up. Oh, bullets. Bullets. It's kind of a cool idea for an enemy, to be honest. A very cool idea for an enemy. Especially as it's making the silent handgun actually feel useful. Even if it is a little bit silly. But I don't mind silly. Come on, you big soapy bastard. That is it, as long as there's actually, you know, enough bullets in this area to do them in. I never knew that we could aim and shoot as well. That's cool. That's really cool. Mate, is your brain hurting yet? Are you feeling these rounds pepper your skull? Ooh. That's a nice little vantage point there. Right, we need to find some more handgun bullets. Ah. Oops. Right. Still not the easiest shot to make, admittedly. Because of the weird, like, the way the... Damn it. The way the, uh... analog stick works, but it's okay. Right, okay. Yeah, we know, game. We know. Right, let's just creep our ass back round. No idea how many bullets it's going to take to kill this guy. Right. Now. He's going to go... What way are you going to go, dude? Because... I need some more hang-on bullets. If that's quite all right with you, Squire. Where is he? You wouldn't have thought you'd be able to lose such a big, ugly bastard as him. But here we are. Right, well. There he is. There you are! Oh, dude, and there's some more bullets there as well. Right, come on. Oh, oh, god damn it, dude, bruh, bruh, seriously, can we sneak around this side? I'm guessing, like, if we run anywhere, and I mean anywhere, he's gonna hear us. I like the way he can't feel us shooting him. Damn it. Damn it. Stop being so twitchy. You twitchy bastard. Oh, come on. How much more? I mean, I know we're shooting him with a handgun. Ooh! <laughs> His brain's fallen out! <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm good. <coughs> I can continue. <laughs> uh, dude... <laughs> dude, your brain's fallen out. Uh... Oh. Oh, that's all we had to do. <laughs> we had to get his brain to fall out. Okay, uh, that's fine. Um. <laughs> Loosen his brain with some bullets. The missiles are below this room. The miss. Don't have much time. Let's go. The missile. The, the why? Why are we talking about missiles? Also, we've got a really stretchy neck.
Yeah, these animations have definitely not um, held up brilliantly, have they? So we are back to Fongling, but we're going to have to have a bit of a break there, my friends, because we're out of time. Uh, well, I mean, Pluto was an interesting boss now, wasn't he? Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> You know, <laughs> I can say, you know, oh, I don't give a fuck about oh, council culture. It, it was like kind of taking on the special kid. And um, I kind of felt bad for him because, oh, dude, he that was kind of a savage boss because he was just like a prisoner. He didn't want to be there. And he got, we, he got fucked with and... and you know, he had a pretty hard time. And then we come along and literally just loosen his brain with some choice shots from our handgun. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I think I think we, we probably... Uh, that was a bit of a kindness to Pluto, to be honest. And the, <laughs> the way his fucking brain falls out. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was funny, man. You, you know, you can't take Resident Evil seriously. Uh, I'm actually having a blast with this game. It's, it's funny as fuck. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, till next time.